we're now going to solve systems of three variables and three equations. And so the goal here is to use elimination as much as possible to peel away the layers. And so we can get rid of a variable one at a time until we're done down to our final answer. So we're going to pick a variable, either x or y. I'll explain in a later video why we never use z. But we pick either x or y, so x looks easier. So we're going to take equation three, 1, rather, and we're going to subtract equation 3 from it. So we're going to copy equation 1 exactly as it's written. And we're going to change equation 3 to minus x minus 3y plus 2z equals minus 14. So when we add these together, the x's go away. We get minus 2y plus z equals minus 8. Now, we still need to get rid of the x from equation 2. And I'm going to subtract 3 times equation 1 to do that. So equation 2 we copy exactly. Minus 3x plus 2y plus z equals minus 5. And we're going to triple and change the sign of all the y's to get this. And so when we add these together, we get minus 5y plus 4z equals minus 23. And we've now created two new equations, 4 and 5, that we can use to solve. And now we're welcome to use z, and I like z a lot more, so we're going to take equation 5 as it's written and subtract 4 times equation 4. So minus 5y plus 4z equals minus 23. We're going to get 8y minus 4z equals 32. And when we add these together, 8y minus 5y is 3y. 32 minus 23 is 9. So 3y equals 9, divide by 3. And we get that y is 3. So we're one third of the way done. Now we just need to go back and solve for z in equation 4, so minus 2 times 3 plus z equals minus 8, so minus 6 plus z equals minus 8, add 6 to both sides, and get z is minus 2. To get x, we just pick our favorite equation. I like equation 1 the most, so x plus 3 minus a minus 2 equals 6, so x plus 5 equals 6, so x is 1. And we get as our answer 1, 3, minus 2. And we should go back through and try and, and plug these in. So we're going to go back to our first equation. And I'm just going to do this quickly. 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 times 3 is 6, minus 2 is minus 5, well that's 3 minus 8, which sure enough is minus 5. So it works for the first one and the second one. 1 plus 9 plus 4 is 14, 1 plus 9 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, so it also works for our third one. And we've checked all three of our answers, our, our points, and so we know that this is, in fact, the solution to our system. Now, sometimes the system that we're given is missing variables from an equation. And if this is the case, then we just need to do what we can. We'll label this equation 1, 2, and 3. And this time I'm going to choose to eliminate y. So we're going to take 2 times equation 1 and add equation 2. So 4x plus 2y equals minus 8. Minus 2y plus 4z equals 0. Gives us 4x plus 4z equals minus 8. Something that's really nice to do if you can is to reduce it. So we get x plus z equals minus 2, and we'll call this equation 4. And notice that equation 3 is already missing the y, so we'll just call this equation 5. So now if I take 2 times equation 4 and add it to equation 5, we will get 2x plus 2z equals minus 4. 3x minus 2z equals minus 11. 
add those together, we get 5x equals minus 15. So x is minus 3. This means that 2 times minus 3 plus y equals minus 4. So six, minus 6 plus y equals minus 4, so y is 2. And 3 times minus 3 minus 2z equals minus 11. So minus 9 minus 2z equals minus 11. Minus 2z equals minus 2, so z equals 1. And again, if we plug these in, we get minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. So I'm doing this one right here. Plus 4 equals 0. Sure enough, that works. So it works for all three equations. And our answer is the point minus 3, 2, 1.